Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Sim 19. We've got a lot done since the last episode. I went ahead and uh, did a mow in a mow in a row. The old mow in a row here. So I just did that off camera, watched a little football while I did it. Can't even remember what game I watched when I did it. It was not the Husker game. That one I watched and wept a bit during. Oh, here, we can watch our new edition. It should tilt it to its flat side. Yeah, we see that little thing. Wait a minute. Turn on automatic drop. Yeah, how simple, how effective. Yeah, so I just wept during the Husker game, so it wasn't that one, but I cannot remember what it was. Which means it wasn't important, which it really never is. Uh, but yeah, I just put on some football and played some farming sim over the weekend. And uh, got this entire thing mowed and rowed, so now we have a lot of bailing and uh, loading left in front of us. We're going to make more than last time. Well, depending on prices. Yeah, we should make more than last time. Wait a minute. Because... There we go. Uh, because we... Uh, I mowed more, so I got a little closer to the perimeter, as we can see here, and kind of around there. And then that entire area... Come on. Come on. Go to zero. I do wish this was slightly, slightly faster at unloading the, the bale. Uh, but anyway, that area all like down there, if you look at the map, uh, where's our land? Like this whole circle here, I didn't even touch last time. So I went ahead and load all that. So so I want to finish this row and then go start a mission, even, you know, just start like a worker and a harvester doing something while we do this. Uh, I don't even know if we'll finish this today. This is going to take, I, I debated back and forth whether or not to also bail because I knew it was going to take a while. Uh, and I don't have that much to talk about for this entire time. So, uh, the reason I didn't is because I thought that was maybe a bit too much to do off camera. So now I'm like, ugh, this is going to take 17 hours, but we'll see. See how it goes. Uh, but let's just finish this row for now. A little, uh, yeah, I know I'm missing bits here and there. Go. But that'll all get rowed up the next time I do this, so I'm not too worried about that. And of course, I missed all that because we were wrapping. So let's go get this. I also debated going for a... Oh. Well, we have one toppled over. Going for the square baler because if we do the square baler we can just drive and we don't have to stop unload stop unload stop and load stop and load the problem with that is when we go to wrap it we still have to do that we still have to wrap wait unload wrap wait unload so it, i think in the long run i wonder if i can use this to like stop it Yes. So I felt like in the long run it uh, would amount to maybe about the same time. So decided to just keep going with this. We're going to need a baler at some point anyway, but this is a nice all-in-one machine. So anyway, I guess I finished this. 
So let's look at missions and see if there's one we want to uh, just kind of have have a worker begin working. So more cotton, which was a little frustrating last time. All the rest are Felsburn, which was frustrating last time. Like all of them. Well, we could do field 22 or field 8. 8. Oh, 22. Um, Let's try it again. Field eight. And so we need to do one full. I don't know why I did that. So we need one full bale of cotton for sure, because I did not finish the mission. And then I had a comment that said, if you do like 65% of your next one, That'll finish it, but it probably depends on the mission. So maybe I, I must have misread that comment. Yeah, we'll have to kind of just keep an eye, but what we learned is that you can't do like a second bail and then expect it to finish the mission and give you like the excess. You have to do a second bail to finish the mission, then a third bail for your excess, I guess. Hopefully is how this will work. Uh, so kind of like the Felsbrun grain mill, you have to sort of estimate it, and that's frustrating. But we can we can probably do it. We just have a long journey and a slow harvester to get there. So I guess it's Cyber Monday. I keep getting emails from about every company I've ever bought anything from. Uh, though it doesn't matter because nothing's actually in stock this year anyway. So... Um, oh, um... I will be... So the last three episodes, if if uh, you noticed, maybe you didn't, I didn't really refer to a lot of comments in them because I did not record them like one at a time like I usually do, like I'm doing right now. So actually we should, yeah, let's just see what happens. So usually I, oh, we don't even need to do this right now. We can keep bailing. It's going to be a long time until we have a bale of cotton. So yeah, usually I just record them, post them after they're posted. I'll record the next one a couple days later, whatever, etc, etc. Um, but the last three, I recorded sort of a batch recording all before Thanksgiving. So I was done. So they went up last Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but I had them all done by like Wednesday. Um, so just a heads up on why I was not referring to comments maybe is because they there were none at those times. Um, but now we're back. Basically I just wanted to um, just kind of have Thanksgiving break off of everything. Uh, so I wanted to get those recordings out still sort of on a regular basis but not have to actually do it and so I I uh, recorded my tail off in those few days and got it done, and now we're back on a more normal schedule here. Hopefully I have everyone had a great break. Uh, mine was super normal. Not normal as in Thanksgiving normal, just like normal as in we just sat around the house normal. 
Uh, we canceled all plans. Ordered in some food. Come on, unload. This is literally going to take... Oh, okay, I shouldn't say it. This is figuratively going to take literally like 10 hours. Um, but we're going to make so much money. Yeah, I just ordered food. Sat around the house. I watched football. Oh, you know what? I played a lot of Paper Mario. Um, because it was like a very long break for me. Sometimes I like to and uh, buy a game that maybe I've been wanting to play for a long time, but I know will need like a lot of hours. Uh, and so I bought Paper Mario and I played it for a lot of hours. I didn't beat it yet. It's a, it's a big one. But boy, is it a good one. I will tell you. Um, I, I still think Odyssey is the best Mario game ever. Like ever, ever. And I know a lot of people will say 64 and then they'll be like, well, you, you know, you just don't have the nostalgia for Mario 64, blah, 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 whatever. That's wrong. I do have the nostalgia for Mario 64 because I was like nine when that came out. Uh, it's why Ocarina of Time is my favorite Zelda because I was like 10 when that came out, got it for Christmas morning, played it for like 12 hours straight. It's the best game ever. Well, not the best game ever, but the best Zelda ever. Um, anyway, Odyssey. Phenomenal Mario game. Paper Mario, really, really, really good Mario game. Love the style. It's amazing what they've done with the uh, aesthetics and the stuff. <clears throat> oh boy. Uh, the aesthetics and the style in the game are phenomenal. How they like, everything's in paper, origami, cardboard, paper mache. It's so cool. Um, I've never played a Paper Mario before, so it was my first one. And it was fantastic is fantastic. I I have like one more streamer to go. If, if you've played the game, you know what I mean. If you don't, it's fine. It's basically like the level, like the large sections of the game are blocked off by streamers. Sorry about the throat issue right now. Um, or the speaking issue. And uh, yeah, so I got one more streamer to go. Then the then I assume there's like a boss. I, I don't know. But it's it's fantastic. It's so good. It's really fun. Really cheerful, very jolly. Um, I wouldn't say very difficult, which I'm okay with. It's been pretty cake. But again, I'm not looking for difficulty in Mario. I'm looking for style and fun gameplay and charming characters and storyline and uh, dialogue. And I'm getting all of it. It's lovely, so... And now the next Nintendo game I'll play is probably Pikmin 3, because I've never played a Pikmin. I played the demo on the Switch, and it was super, super good. Uh, also just very jolly and charming, which I could use. I think we'd all use. I think it's just great. Uh, definitely a big shift from Hades, which I absolutely loved. I have 80 hours in Hades. I didn't do everything yet. I still have some of the prophecies to, like, check. But I got to a point where I felt like, I did all the story stuff, seems to be done, and so I kind of tapered off, but I don't know. I might go back to it at some point and just keep, keep doing some runs. Um, let's go check on our cotton. Yeah, it's gonna, t yeah, it takes forever. And then our field is uh, planted, but because we're not going quickly, like nothing's happening on it, we're just doing it at one speed. So it's got soybeans, but of course we don't even have weeds, so we can look at it. Nothing going on. And I skipped a row. I don't know why I did that. Oh yeah. Gotta turn it on. One thing we could do is just look at all these bales. I was gonna say we could load some and go go take them in, but I might leave them on the ground and see if well, it says it's going down. Yeah, we, par we probably won't try to time it. 
I just don't think at this stage of the game, since we are going to need to do this again like tomorrow, I don't think it's going to be worth timing it because if tomorrow the price still isn't up, then we just have a field of, then we won't be able to even get a second mow in. So I think we'll just do all this and then take it in. Um, but I think at this point, I will, I don't know if I'll finish bailing. Oh, I did it again. But I'm sure going to take a crack at getting a lot of bailing done. And um, yeah, I'll see in a second. And this might all be finished or some more of it just might be finished. We'll see. All right, wanted to check back in. Um, you can see we already have tons and tons of bales. We still have all that to go. I'll probably do all this off camera between now and the next episode. Uh, but I wanted to talk quick. I think what we'll do with this next uh, revenue, uh, amount of revenue, like when we sell all of these bales, I think it would be really worth it to invest in the biogas plant instead of doing silage bales. Um, I think it'd be a lot more efficient based on the amount we have. So the biogas plant is uh, pretty close by, which is, which is nice. And it's 120,000. And then we would have to buy a large loading wagon we have a small one, but we would probably want to just invest in a, a big one. So here's 56. That might be too big. Um, but you think even like, let's say we do this $100,000 one, 35. That's nine. That's almost nine bales of hay. Um, almost, just under. Uh, that we just pick up quick, dump it. Oh, wow, that's cool. They like stacked on each other. Uh, somehow and then basically you just take it dump it in the biogas plant uh, do that until until you are finished uh, it can hold lots like I think like a million liters of grass something like that and then you cover it plus they they have different they have multiple stalls so if you can't quite fit it all in one stall you just go to the next one Oh, I did another one. Um, but then once it's all... Oh, man, I'm missing all over the place. Once it's all in there, then you just cover it, let it ferment like for a day, I think. It's not too bad. And then um, you... Well, I would use belts and belt up a system to unload it into the hopper that they have on site. And it basically just sells it um, from the belt. So super efficient. I think if we're working with this much on a daily basis, that would be worth investing in. Uh, it is unfortunate that we have to buy the biogas plant first, or at least I, I'm pretty sure we do, uh, cause that's, that's pricey. But, uh, I, th yeah, I think we would, I think it would be nice. So that's probably the kind of the next thing we'll go for. We'll keep the baler just because we'll want it when we go to cows, we'll want silage bales instead of loose silage because it's way easier to mix bales. But uh, just wanted to run that by all. That that's probably where we're headed. Let me finish this fill. And we can go check on cotton. We're at 57%, so we still got a long ways to go. I don't think this isn't even going to finish. I wonder if we sh should unload this bale. And take it in. Might as well. I mean, I think it's going to be a fairly short episode anyway. So we could unload finished bale. Get this. And then hopefully this will finish the mission. And then the rest of it we can, you know, get a few thousand dollars of profit of our own for our own money. We can also sell our small loader, loading wagon. Um, maybe, I don't know, it's it's not, it's probably not worth it. 
it's not worth a lot of money. Let's top it, mouse. But, you know, we can always scrounge up money. Right now we only have 110 we can borrow, so we cannot even buy the silage plant right now, but I'm thinking we're going to make a 100 or so, 120, selling those bales. Okay, so let's get this out of the way. Okay, there must be close back. Try this again. There we go. And then we need operating position to back up into it. One thing we might also do, instead of finishing that field, maybe we'll just sell what we have and start the biogas plant now, just to kind of test it on a smaller scale. Um, I might, might do that. Go truck. Okay, so now we need transporting position. And the mission. So we need yeah, we need 32%. I don't know how to even calculate that based on the field. So we'll just take it to the spinnery and see what happens. Um, I also had a comment that there's a 30 bale loader in the mod hub by Flegel. So what I'll probably try to do is go find that by next time, and then maybe we can do 30 bales at a time uh, for this round instead of 8 at a time. I don't know if our tractor could actually pull that much weight, but we could try it. Okay, let's see what happens. If this doesn't finish it, it's going to get real messy. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get extra on this one. I just feel like there wasn't that much cotton left to... Maybe maybe you can't earn more from cotton at all? It just looked like there was barely any left. And we still have 10%. So... Anyway, uh, that's probably where we're going to end. Um, I will, you know, I'm going to close this up. I think leaving it at zero. Lift. Does this not fold? No. Yeah, I think I'm going to just, yeah, we'll sell these. I mean, that's still a lot of bales. And we'll, uh, We'll try unloading in the biogas plant before we buy it, but I have a feeling that we have to buy it. Um, that also means we're going to have to figure out where our loading wagon goes, maybe do a second stall. Oh, that was weird. So yeah. Oh gosh. This way. That will be... An episode, if I can get this backed up. Cool. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. Um, like, subscribe, comment below if you want. And of course, have yourselves a very nice day.